Hey YouTube, Lexi here. Um, <clears throat> so I first thing I want to say that every single one of you, as in all of my nine subs, need to appreciate this video because I filmed a 20 minute collection tour a couple days ago with my finger over the speaker to my iPhone and it was just 20 minutes of silence and it was fantastic. So this is my second attempt at a collection tour. Um, I haven't done one in a long time. Uh, I haven't done one since Christmas. Um, I don't really get briars often, so I kind of wait a while to do another video, um, just so I can get new briars, so it's not just the same silly thing. Okay, so um, I have yet to actually name them. Once again, I'm completely failing at that. I need to just actually sit down one day and think of really nice names for them, but I kind of have a lot. And as you can see, I have... This is really zoomed in, I don't know why. I have two, well, the white one is the old bookcase, but I have a brand new black bookcase for all of my models because I was running out of space, and <sighs> Moose, stay in the womb. I'm filming. I'm okay, my door closed, so if you stay in here. Um, anyway, short attention span. The attention span of a chicken nugget, you're probably going to notice that during this video, so I'm going to try to go as quick as I can, which still means 20 minutes. So, um, let's start at the top. I have very shaky hands. Okay. Um, I have Spirit, the Tawny Cougar, and Rain. My, my little Briar plushies. Uh, the Pinto's name, I think, is like Bucky or... I don't remember. Um, I've had him for a really, really long time, though. I don't know if you can even get him anymore. But he has this cute little briar bridle. Or, wow, I need to be slapped. Halter. Um, and I have a little Christmas guy. And then I have little Cheyenne. Um, then, for right now, obviously I'm going to make more space. This is my beautiful dressage shelf. And look at him. Look at him. Oh, my God. He is, he is perfection. And I love him. Um, I just got him as soon as the release came out. I bought him on walkaboutfarm.com, not Briar, because I got him for a lot cheaper. So, if you guys want really nice Briars that aren't expensive as Briar, go to Walkabout Farm. I've been ordering them from them since I was like 10. They're fantastic. <clears throat> okay, so, <clears throat> I'm a little trotting Hanoverian, which I love. I really, really hope to get more of his mold because he's super cute. So, I really, really love my Ravel. Um, I got him from Briar on Black Friday, and um, I only got him for $24, no shipping and handling, so I really like him. However, he has really bad box marks, and I can't fix that because I'm, I'm not good enough with my, my customization stuff yet to actually do that, and he kind of has a really bad hoof scuff. And that's kind of disappointing, considering it came right from the Briar website. And I really try not to buy from places that I get beat-up models. But yeah. Um, I got Tolatas off of Walkabout Farm. He was only 41 instead of 46. And um, because I had a purchase with him that was over $80, I had free shipping and handling. So I didn't even have to pay shipping and handling. It was fantastic. Um... Mr. Al Hajrish, probably one of the only briars I actually have a name for, and I named him Circle of Life or Simba. And as you can probably tell, I'm a complete Disney nut, so that works out nicely. Um, okay, then we have the beautiful Cedric. Um, I almost said Sea Biscuit. Oh my God, I'm being horrible today. Secretariat, um, Gigi Valentine, um, partly cloudy. Uh, smoke from J.C. Penny, smoke mirrors, and my overall paint mare, who is wearing my lovely Western halter, and I love her. Um, okay, you guess what? I'm gonna need that chair because I am not, I'm not standing up. Oh my god! Come on, babes. Go on, babies. She's like super old, so it makes me really sad. Right, and then I have uh, Hildago, and I've had him for a very long time, and he's one of my favorites. Um, Smart Chickalena and Big Checks to Cash. Um, I'm going to be working on this Kanga because I absolutely love this mold. Um, I ordered Big Checks with uh, Totalus from Walkabout Farm, 
and they gave me free shipping, and I got a free stable mate, which was amazing. Um, my lonesome glory conga of Zenyatta, Wapasha, and Seattle Slu. I'm also sorry the lighting's like really wonky in here. Everything probably looks really dark and stuff. <laughs> um, I have Idakis, which matches my Ravel, but Ravel's up there, so he's all alone. And then I have my two warm bloods. I would love to conga more of these. They are amazing. Also, my new bookshelf came from Walmart. And when I opened it and put it together, haha, yay, it's broken. Not a surprise. Um, I have Misty, and I got her a very long time ago. So she is from when I was a little kid, and I no longer have the Stormy that goes with her. So she's probably a different color variation than some of the Misty's are right now. Um, then I have uh, Brookside Pink Magnum, and I'm very disappointed with him. I love him to death, except horrible box rubs, horrible box rubs, horribly scuffed feet, horribly scuffed feet. Um, he think I think he even has an ear rub too. I got him from H and H Winter Circle. I am never ever buying from these people ever again. Um, like it's just awful. Like I'm not paying like thirty dollars a model to get something like that. You know, I can't photo show him unless I photoshop him, and it's it's just really frustrating. Um, I actually ordered a big checks to cash from uh, H&H Winter Circle back at the beginning of January, and I never got it. Um, I emailed them a bunch of times, and they were like, oh, well, yeah, it was delivered. I'm like, really? Because I never got a confirmation email, never got a tracking number, never got a message from my post office saying that they delivered something. So, yeah, I am... I'm never ordering from H&H. &H. Like, I've had too much trouble with them. It's it's too much of a pain in the neck. Anyway, um, my two little sportfuls, uh, Valentine, no, Heartbreaker. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Heartbreaker and little Z. And he has his little birth certificate, and I love him. Um, then I have Starlight on my only flash mold. I have the Mystical Unicorn and the... American Saddlebred, who was amazing. Um, and then down here are like my big heavier drafts. I have uh, my Belgian Mare Strawberry Shortcake. Then I have my beautiful Mariah's Boone. Um, mirrors from Smoke and Mirrors. Um, Fire Magic on. He's kind of like a glossy here. Just pull him since it's hard to see him. Fire Magic. He's glossy and he is. 2005 Briar Celebration Horse, and he was one of the first expensive models I ever got. Um, I bought him off a walkabout farm when I was 15 years old, and he was like $95. That's where I got Wapasha also. Um, I really love this mold, though. I really hope that they make more on this mold, because I want more of them. Um, one of my newest additions that I am so in love with is the Clydesdale Marinful. Um... I'm starting to have a really big affinity for draft horses, and she is absolutely beautiful. She has just the nicest appling, and her color is, her shading, everything is just amazing on this horse. Oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> um, she's just amazing. I, and... The pose itself is beautiful, so I really, I really want to conga her as well. I'm being super clumsy today while I'm filming this. Okay, um, so my white bookshelf, I don't know if you've probably, probably not noticed, but, um, my black bookshelf is kind of all of my really nice models, while my white bookshelf is kind of like my old models, I've had them for a while, they're kind of beat up, um, so yeah, um, so, stable mates down here, I have my two little rearing Mustangs. Let's see if I can get closer. Okay. I have my two little rearing Mustangs, my Arabians, and my Thoroughbreds. And that is a glossy War Admiral that I glossed myself, and he actually came out pretty good. 